You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. So now we're going to talk about the Seatome favorites. Um, we're just going to talk about a few of them because uh, we don't have much time no, and we don't. there's a lot to cover. Okay. So one of the biggest things with geoblastoma multiforms, and this has been a bit of a um, debated topic, is the presence of what we call the cytomegalovirus. So we now know that um, CMV, cytomegalovirus, um, is found in pretty well all uh, GBMs. Uh, most of them, you know, I think incredibly high amount. Some of the studies didn't look hard enough and didn't find them, but now we know that most of them are there. Mm. Do, is it involved in the progression? I mean, most people have had exposure to CMV throughout their life and they don't get brain cancers. So is it involved in causing brain cancers? We don't know. But what we do know about CMV is that it can be reactivated when you get your treatment. Oh. So if you're getting radiation therapy or, or um, TMZ, the standard therapy, and your CMV gets reactivated in the area of the tumor, it can cause all kinds of problems. Mm. It can uh, you know, prevent the treatments from working properly. It can just cause all sorts of problems. So it might not, so this cytomegalovirus might not cause GBM, but it does influence how well your treatment's going to work. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and more importantly, um, it's going to prevent you from getting treatment. What? Well, if you get an inflammation of your brain, you can't get any treatment. Hmm. So, I didn't know that. Yes, yes, definitely. I would assume if I have a tumor in my brain, I have an inflammation in my brain. How well, much yes. Worse could it get? Well, it, you could die very quickly, mm. <laughs> like literally in a few hours. Oh. In fact, that is one of the one of the biggest causes of people dying is mm. is um, inflammation in the brain. So, if my treatment reactivates this and this prevents me from getting more treatment, what yeah. am I supposed to do? If well, it's so common? what we do with our GBM patients is we get them on an antiviral. Mm. Now, um, the antiviral, the best drug for um, CMV is called Valcite. Mm. There was recently a study, there's been a few studies in it, where they give it in combination with the standard TMZ, the STOOP protocol. Mm. I'll refer to that as the STOOP protocol. So this has been tested. This it has been, yes. Okay. yes. Um, I believe in Sweden. They spend a lot of time on that. And so what they found is that when they gave this Valcite to patients, while they got this TMZ, and they, these were the problem is, is these patients were unstratified. We don't know what genetic mutations they had, right. and this is where the problem lies. Right. And this is why um, you know this hasn't been incorporated into mainstream medicine mm -hmm. because some of those yeah. patients may have lived a long time, anyways. Some of them may have died sooner. Mm -hmm. So they did try to look at every variable they could, and what they found is that um, now you remember. You wrote down the statistics for TMZ, 16.6 .6 months is your overall survival. Yes. 27 months, or 27% 20, of patients live two years. Two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So when these same patients, same group of patients, took this antiviral valcite, um, at two years, the survival was 62%. Up from 27. Yes. And, well, actually, in this control group, in this study, it was only 18 Wow. 18%. So massive, massive increase. And that's when they took that as a front line. 62% at two wow. years. Wow. So massive increase in survival. Wow. The overall survival in these patients was, this is up front, um, was 25 months versus 13.5 for patients who didn't get the drug, mm -hmm. who just had the standard therapy. Um, and more, this is just with a simple kind of simple over addition the of valcite in your first line, no. combining that with the standard stew no protocol. No side effects. Um, well, you know, every drug has side effects, but yeah, minimal side effects. Yeah, I'm thinking in contrast yes. to anything else, totally. so, like maybe a little yes. upset tummy or something that exactly. you might get. From exactly. Something. So um, the longer the patients in this study took the took this valcite, the longer they survived. So. Um, mm -hmm. Out of 40 patients who took the drug for at least six months, the two-year survival rate was 70%. Mm. And the median overall survival for these patients was 30.1 months. Mm. So that is knocking it out of the park, you know, really. Um, and that's, that's really important. So 
That was the front line. In yeah. recurrent glioblastoma multiform, we don't have a lot of a lot of treatments. Mm. You know, it's surgery again, and the survival is incredibly poor once it comes back. Mm. So, in what they did was they they took this information. They said, "Well, let's give it to people in recur who have recurrence, and see if it works." Um, so, what they did was um, they gave them TMZ again, just just temozolomide, and they gave them this valve site. Um, and the medium survival uh, was um, after recurrence was nine months in this. Okay. So, which is quite significant. Because otherwise, they would not have had that much time. Exactly. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I believe. Um, I believe uh, some of the patients live twenty four months. Um, some of them live less, but the average was was nine months. Mm. Um, I believe the average, if I recall, for recurrence is about half that. Without this valve site. It's like four months. Yeah. It's about four and so months, and these folks with that combination got twenty four months. A bunch of them. No, that was in the first line. This is recurrence if the tumor comes back sorry, after I thought treatment. You just said that some that uh, not, that oh yeah, sorry, some some did twenty four, but the average was nine months. Got it. The overall. I'm focusing. Uh, hey. So, well, um, yes, but some you know some patients. Be outliers. Of course, there's yeah. going to be outliers. Mm -hmm. So based on that, um, there's been a whole line of new therapies that they're focusing on. Um, that uh, they're, they're creating these um, dendritic cell like vaccines that target proteins on the cytomegalovirus. So they're creating vir you know, vaccines for this to a target in it. And so they had a recent study um, that did really well. Um, it was, I believe, at Duke University. And this vaccine would be given to somebody with GBM or anybody? No, just GBM. Okay. Yeah, no, we're talking about GBM today. I understand. I'm just thinking if it's a vac, <laughs> if this is a, I'm thinking big picture here. I'm okay. thinking if well, then... CMV is something that's so common in brain tumors. Okay, so it's not common in the population of all people. Yeah, it is common in the population. That's of all where people. I'm going yeah. here. I think big picture. Okay. okay. So, anyways, in this study um, with this dendritic cell vaccine, um, I, I believe uh, four out of it was a small study, but I believe four out of uh, eleven of the patients lived uh, more than five years. So definitely targeting CMV can be something important. Wow. Now, now, it's tough to get your doctor to prescribe Valsite. A lot of doctors won't do that. So what I suggest to patients is um, if they, you know, there's a medication um, called Valtrex um, that is for uh, herpes simplex. So if you get uh, cold sores or, you know, genital herpes, um, you can take Valtrex. Valtrex actually works against the CMV. It doesn't work as well as Valsite, but it does work against it. And so, uh, you know, if you have a flare-up where you're getting treatment, you know, I would really talk to your doctor about just getting a prescription for Valtrex. Mm. It's it literally hardly any side effects. Most people, you can get it from, you know, all you have to do is have a cold sore and you'll get, uh, you'll get a prescription for it. Mm. So you could ask for that. Although, uh, I mean, you, if somebody did want the Valtrex, then they could speak to you and you could... Try to educate their doctor. Educate with their yeah. doctor. Yes. Yeah. Now we don't have data for it. There was never a study with Valtrex done, but it is an antiviral, and we do know um, through extrapolation that targeting CMV, especially if it's reactivated, um, can really help. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the biggest problems um, is determining whether you're suffering from CMV reactivation. Ah. So when it does reactivate, it only reactivates around the tumor in the brain. It's not detectable by blood. So we've had a lot of problems trying to get doctors to prescribe valcite when they didn't see, they didn't have proof that it was being involved. Mm -hmm. We know that it's involved in all GBM samples. So, you know, to go in there and take out a slice of the tumor and test it for cyclomegalovirus during someone's treatment is just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to make a bit of an assumption that it's going on and you have to give it a try. You know, if your patient is, or someone with, with, uh, GBM is getting treatment and they're having inflammation issues. Um, obviously, steroids are one of the options, but definitely think about having a antiviral. Mm -hmm. And you know, for me, if it was me, I would just be taking Valtrex just in case. Mm -hmm.
Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.